Fresno City Council President Nelson Esparza back in court today as he faces multiple charges, including felony extortion. Esparza mentioned a motion to actually the court to have the case dismissed, but this morning a judge pushed forward and scheduled a preliminary hearing. Our Natalie Vera with more on what comes next and Esparza's official entering a plea. We did enter uh, a not guilty plea, absolutely not guilty. Nelson Esparza maintained his innocence during his arraignment on Thursday. The Fresno City Council president is being accused of threatening the employment of former city attorney Doug Sloan if he didn't work exclusively for the Democrat-led majority members of the Fresno City Council. Very disappointed today that we're experiencing uh, the two-week uh, delay, uh, but still very much looking forward uh, to resolving this case. Esparza's attorney, Mark Coleman, had filed a motion for case dismissal, stating the conversation with Sloan was not admissible due to attorney-client privilege. But Judge Alvin Harrell slated a pre-preliminary trial for November 2nd. Esparza does not need to attend that court date. The judge also scheduled the actual preliminary trial for November 10th. Esparza will have to be in court for those proceedings. Okay, we'll look forward to being back here in a couple weeks and uh, bringing this to a very speedy resolution. The district attorney filed charges in July after council member Gary Bredefeld brought forward allegations that Esparza extorted the former city attorney during a private meeting at City Hall with Sloan. In an email, Esparza allegedly says to Sloan, quote, I'm just going to cut to the chase. I'm standing between you and you losing your job. From now on, you are to only work for the council majority. Esparza filed a defamation suit against Bredefield that he later dropped. Democrat council members Esparza, Miguel Arias, Tyler Maxwell, and Esmeralda Soria are considered the council majority. Maxwell and Arias were in court today in a show of support for Esparza. Sloan resigned and now works for the city of Santa Monica. If Esparza is found guilty of his felony charge, he faces potential fines, jail time, and up to three years in state prison. The preliminary trial is scheduled for November 10th. Reporting in Fresno, Natalie Vera, KC24 Local News That Matters.